Hey guys, we made it to the end of the year here on the JTO Paranormal Podcast. It is going to be 2021 very shortly, but maybe you're watching this later on and it's already 2021. And this is like time travel to you. Which is ironic because that is the subject of tonight's episode. But first, my friend Bryant here and I are going to be drinking until we lose the feelings in our heart. Oh yeah, super excited for that. We like to drink here on the show. So Bryant, what are we drinking tonight? Well, tonight, since uh, we're celebrating New Year's, champagne. Yeah, of course. Yeah. What kind of champagne is it? Dollar uh, store brand? Actually- Do- hey, don't <laughs> point that bottle. Don't point that bottle at me. That is a loaded weapon. I will take it as a threat, and I will stab you in the heart. Get it away from me. So not actual champagne, it's pros- Prosecco. Okay. Cool. Oh, 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 this party's on. To 2021. To being the president of the universe. No. I did find, you're probably familiar with uh, Greta Thunberg. Yeah? Is it Thunberg or Thunberg? I think there's an H in that shit. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, she's the teenage environmental activist that adult men on uh, social media platforms like to make fun of. You know that one? Yeah. yeah, she's, yeah. Like, she's like a seventeen-year-old girl, and like a bunch of uh, adult yeah. adult men attack her. <laughs> they get out there and insult like, her. Oh, look at this bitch! She thinks she knows everything, and they're just sitting at home with like their hand in their pants, El Bundy style, Ugh. eating macaroni and cheese and a wife beater. Like, fuck you! What do you do with your life? Anyway, she's a time traveler. She's she's a time traveler. I've 100%. never heard this before. Um, well, per the University of Washington libraries, they're. Digital archives contain a photo that is over 120 years old showing Greta. All Mm. right, I got to see this. I don't. So there she is. You can see her little hair thingy, the same sign, the same style. That's clearly her next to children. That looks like it could just be like, it could be like a relative. I mean, grandma. That looks exactly the same. There were three children in 1898 uh, in the Canadian Yukon Territory. They were settling and looking for gold. We struck some gold here on the show because we just proved time travel. Proven fact. <laughs> so, eh. Well, yeah. Uh, speaking of um, proving time travel, uh, Jermaine Tubar and uh, uh, UQ physics pr- professor uh, Fabio Costa wrote a paper called Reversible Dynamics with Closed Time, Like Curves, and Freedom of Choice, mm. where they claim to have solved the time paradox problem using math. So traveling through the past is a way to not create a paradox and actually travel to the past. Nerd so alert, am I right? Nerd alert. I can't follow that. <laughs> All right, we'll get into any more on that, but time cool. travel is... Possible, maybe? Listen, I love time travel. I love dinosaurs. Yeah. I would go back in time, get a raptor egg. I would do all sorts of things. But if it involves me doing math, I'm fucked. Oh, no, that's the great part. Someone else does the math, and then we can travel through time. I can't even normal travel with math. I'll never get out of the fucking studio if I have to do math. <laughs> so all I have to do is set the code to get out as like a math <laughs> problem, and you yeah. be trapped inside? Yeah. All right, great. That's something I'm going to start working on. If you want me trapped in the studio. No, wait, I don't want you trapped in the studio. I'll shit in the corner. Well, listen, fuck all that nerd shit. I can prove time travel is real right now. Very easily. How? I've got an average clock here. What would seem to be an average clock. And what I'm going to do, take this little hammer. And we just set back time. There's like a thing on the back where you can twist to, to move the arms on the clock. You didn't have to break it. To before you lost your virginity. Okay. Proven. <laughs> glass in there? <laughs> All right, well, Andrew's dying. <laughs> So I, I've researched a bunch of these time travelers and like all of them are just like trying to prove that something's happening in the future. And if I time traveled, I would definitely 
like invest money in the past to make myself rich. I would Sounds definitely abuse time travel. Smart. Yeah, which is exactly what Andrew Carlson claims to have done. Uh, he traveled back from the year 2,256 yeah. to 2002. And he was arrested for uh, insider trading in 2003, January 28th. And the reason that they think he was uh, committing insider trading, which I guess actually he was by using yeah. information that nobody else had access to uh -huh. from the future. So he did commit that. Um, but he claims to take $800 in just a matter of months. No, 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 no. Weeks. Two weeks. weeks. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Weeks. Two, two weeks. Oh, no sweet. $800 in a matter of two weeks with his uh, superior knowledge of what's, what's going to happen. Took $800 and turned it into $350 million yeah. trading stocks. Yeah. Until the FBI got suspicious, took his ass in an interrogation room, and he said he was from the future. And not only did he know about stocks and where to invest, mm -hmm. he could cure AIDS. Kind of fucked up. He didn't just give us the right? cure. He should have been like, all right, here, here's a cure for AIDS. Let me go. And that's, that's, all, that's all it should have been. And where Osama bin Laden was at the time. What a dick. Yeah, you still... made $350 million and you couldn't tell us those two things? So his bail was set for... One million dollars. Some mystery man came and bailed him out, and they absconded with uh, what was they had of the money. What was left, never heard from again. Didn't make the court date. Never saw Andrew Carlson again. He probably F traveled back to the future. Well, maybe FBI looked into it. Mm -hmm. Couldn't find anyone by his name. Now, could be a con man. Yeah, probably a con man. Could be a fake story. Could probably a fake story. But what's more likely? is that all Andrews have the ability to manipulate money. No, no, that's definitely, that's the, that's the least likely uh, possibility. Well, I'm going to do it right now. You're going to manipulate money. How are you going to manipulate? Well, I've got a piggy bank. Yeah. Okay. And inside, I'm going to place a quarter. One single 25 cent piece. Now, all I do is I take my clock, and I move it forward, like so. Next thing you know. I've got like 98 cents. Okay, that doesn't that doesn't prove time travel at all. Plus, just because you, it, it, even if you traveled through time, that quarter wouldn't turn into more money. You just had more money in the piggy bank than you remembered. Possibly. There's a lot of glass everywhere. There's a ton of fucking glass everywhere. You're cleaning all of this up. <laughs>